In this video, let's look at how to bend a map around a sphere. First, let's grab a map image. Next, we're going to need to embed the linked image. So you want to go to Window, Links, and in the Flyout menu, you can choose Embed Images. Now that it's embedded, we will need to convert it to a symbol. So go to your window, symbols panel, new, this little sticky note icon, and you can give it a name if you'd like. It doesn't really matter if it's a movie clip or graphic, we just need a symbol. Click OK. Next, we need a sphere. So if you go to your shape, Fly out, you can choose the ellipse tool or L on your keyboard for shortcut. Next, I'm going to use the cut scissors tool, which is C on the keyboard for scissors. And we're going to cut to make a semicircle. And we're going to need to go to Effect 3D. Revolve. Depends on which side you've deleted. But let's do a preview and we're going to need to move this to rotate or revolve from the right edge. I'm going to do, we can do no shading and go to map art. And it's not readily apparent which face you're looking at. But let's go ahead and place the symbol. The very bottom's our map. And we have preview turned on here. So we're not seeing anything yet. All right, the last surface gave us the image. If it's still not positioned where you would like, go ahead and click OK, and you can rotate the image here. You can see the seam here, so um, depending on what type of map you've chosen. So that's looking pretty good. If you want to make this, you know, stretched or something, you can always change your shape later. Can I undo? So another way to work with a flat image to give it a bend or some kind of warping would be to use the actual warp tool. So I'm gonna Hold down Option and make a copy of my map. Option Shift to scale it down. And this time we're going to go to Effect, Warp. And it doesn't matter which effect you choose because we can choose the or change the style in this drop down. And you can also change how much the bend is and whether you're bending from horizontal or vertical. If you do need to change on your 3D map, if you need to change that effect, you can go to your effects panel under appearance or window appearance. Click on the effect, turn preview on again. You can make your adjustments or go to map art again. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.